Hello friends, in this tutorial series, now we are designing CMOS inverter and performing several analysis using Tenerity software. So here, uh, we use CMOS technology uh, because it has uh, several key advantages. CMOS offer low power dissipation, literally high speed, high uh, noise, uh, noise margin. Okay. So start with the file, new, new design name it inverter ok at the libraries as we discussed uh, in previous tutorial ok no cell new view and, uh, you can name device uh, pmos Instance click on it, done PMOS instance done now connect the gate and uh, bulk to source drain to drain bulk to source. And now uh, ground okay done and here the other voltage source voltage source stands done okay for uh, drain supply by voltage now connect it so uh, I'm using a bit pattern so here's the pattern 01001011 okay so the input to see the output or transient response okay, connect it output pin Okay, make the connection. Okay, now to print the input output voltage, so click on the print voltage stands. So here the for input, and this is for output. Okay, done. Now save the design. Save design and its library. Check GOR zero warning. That's good. Set up the simulation profile. The library file. Click on the library. So here the library is the main model. Generic 0.25 micro technology. All right, the TT. Uh, no parameter TC tangent. Okay. So I run the simulation. Uh, it's a mistake, I think. General net list. Oh. oh. Start time 100 nano. 10 nano. Okay. So start. So it is simulation profile. 
and it's a form in yellow it show the input and in green it show the output so when the input is low the output is high and the input is high the output is low show the characteristic of inverter okay now uh, the DC analysis on it to perform DC analysis uh, we select the variable now click on it and uh, change the property the variable name VGS and its value in so in is the parameter so VGS source name and in is the uh, uh, voltage variable okay now we click on the print voltage uh, to change the transient to DC and same for the input uh, output select the DC okay now uh, one more thing uh, connect the capacitor across the output and uh, ground okay now connect it and we can change the value of the capacitor uh, 1 picofarad so make it large 0 0.01 micro farad ok done now uh, n is the parameter name so name it n value 5 volt ok so this is sweep analysis parameter name is n start value 0 volt stop value 5 volt step 0 0.5 volt uh, sweep type linear ok so run it here the output and uh, can say DC sweep analysis so here the linear input output is non-linear as semiconductor device are non-linear devices ok so thank you